Jack Alonge. Chats non violence campaign. No violence nowhere. While police calls for Alkaline to assist them in murder case. Them talk about me like every day. The latest on that issue. I shall not call women to action against violence. Stop, stop, and fire up my good, good night. Janine, Ganja advocate and Bob Marley ambassador. To anyone with a wicked intention for. She brings her nine album live to our stage while Mr. Easy gonna leave. Gonna leave. All coming up right here on stage, plus this week's E! News reviews and more. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. You guessed it. We'll be right back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. A call by the Jamaican police for Alkaline to assist them in a case of murder has triggered an explosion of speculations in the Jamaican music space. Many went into a state of deja vu and immediately drew comparisons to the artist he's been compared to since the start of his career. Vibes Cartel, the world boss's lyrical styling, the bleaching, and now this. On Tuesday evening, news broke that Erlen Bartley, a.k.a. Alkaline, was wanted for questioning in relation to the January murder of Rohan Morris and was to turn himself in at Harman Barracks by Wednesday at 5 p.m. Shock, confusion, disappointment, and disdain are some of the words that best describe the outpouring of comments all over the chatosphere. While some flat out said this was the only thing left to happen for him to totally embody his suspected idol, Vibes Cartel. These photos obtained by Loop Jamaica show Alkaline being escorted from the area for police headquarters after turning himself in on Thursday morning. The artist who all along maintained his innocence underwent a series of questioning and will remain in custody over the weekend. More on this developing story in the coming weeks. The king of reggae Bob Marley was remembered and celebrated worldwide on the 72nd anniversary of his birth, Monday, February 6th. In Jamaica on Sunday, February 5 was Redemption Life, an annual salute to the king, this time at the Halfway Tree Transport Center in Kingston. Kabaka Pyramid, Devin the Dr. Tiffa, the Marley Brothers, Richie Spice, Beanie Man, Caperton, and more. Many salutes to the king, Bob Marley, but most took some time out of their set to shed light on the unfortunate spate of violence against women in Jamaica. And speaking of great Jamaicans who are no longer with us, the late and great Professor Rex Nettleford was honored at an annual tribute put on by the Rex Nettleford Foundation and featured the National Dance Theatre Company. A full-to-capacity little theatre on Tuesday night, saluting the Jamaican stalwart. People really appreciate what Professor Nettleford has contributed to our culture and they're, they're always wanting to come and get a part of him. And on Saturday, thousands of partygoers took to the mass camp for the tried and proven formula that is now for Toulouse. A night of endless retro music that hardly anyone could help but get loose to. And for the icing on the cake, a winning performance by the artist we will hear from right now. Since returning from a very successful tour of the US last year, Sisla oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalonje has been actively campaigning against killings, a campaign he has taken on to the streets of his own community of Augustown in Kingston. This as he tries to capitalize on the murder-free run, the troubled inner city community enjoyed in 2016. On stage was granted access to the black woman and child singer after an appearance at the popular Footloose retro party last Saturday at the Mastiam Village in Kingston. <laughs> All right, Sadio, so this, this, what this one means for you, this particular one tonight in Kingston. 
It means something so much in the realms of His Majesty that links us perennially to our black culture, representing ourselves in this time making history for the youth to come as our parents before us and ancestors. They've made history for us. They've done a lot of work. They've been through a lot of suffrage. So we're here to do a lot and it meant a lot because we're celebrating the good works and the goodwill of all the black people in the world. And you seem to be having a lot of fun out there tonight. Certainly, so? sir. Yes, really. All right. So you, the, the tour last year in the U.S. And, and wherever else was very, very, very successful from what we saw yes. and what we read. What is this year looking like for you? Well, this year, I think it's going to be more productive and more progressive based on the fact that we've achieved a lot from His Majesty and we keep giving thanks to the Most High. We've got this beautiful um, nation, Jamaica. A lot of people are working, you know, because the Jamaica nation is the Ethiopia Kushetic nation. It's just a different name. So no disrespect. So this is the African nation in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? They've been doing a lot of work. Kingston is the up for dance, all music, reggae music. And you got a lot of people like you yourselves, radio um, personnel, radio station, um, TV station, people dancing, people singing. Everyone is just doing something just to be a part of the global community family for black people to show the world that we can be a part of this world community and make sense um, in changing the world and setting a better example. So this is what we've been doing. We're not going to stop doing it. Big respect. It's good being here. Rise to the occasion. Look at you. Go again. A lot of brown people, black people all over the world are a little bit antsy at the moment with, with the new regime in the U.S. Do you have a thought on that? Well, naturally, you know what I'm saying? And family is the basic unit for society. I like that phrase very much. And I should commend all beautiful um, people from all nations going to the United States of America, trying to make a better way of life and being a part of that beautiful country. So don't be um, disgruntled based upon a um, few statements being made by the Honorable President of the United States. Just be positive in yourself and connect to good and push towards betterment. And you know, you'll make it one day and you'll be comfortable one day. Rastafari is the Almighty King Selassie Aicha. Rastafari. Africa, repatriation. We don't discriminate and um, we don't really judge people based upon their skin complexion, color, race, class, and our creed, but based upon the fulfilling character of that person desiring to do good. You've inspired us a lot. America, America is a beautiful country. Bless all the people over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rural Mexi. I'm a rural Mexi. Bless the people. You know, this is Jamaica. I would say, don't be disgruntled. Don't be discomfort. Praise the Most High and seek the Almighty. There's a better way. And a, 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 a quick thought on your no murder campaign in Augustown. Is it just Augustown or, or island wide? Worldwide. Planetary law. Bob Marley talk about them things way before NI come, we come instill it in the youth's their mind. With the ancient duty of the emperor, we're doing a new thing, right? No crime, no violence, none abuse, none aggressive, non violent. It's nothing I'm saying that haven't been said before. We just do a new thing with the ancient saying zero murder, zero bad mind, zero rape, zero pedophile, zero all that's bad and increase what's good. That's just about it, and we're serious about it. And we understand that you're actually on the streets of Augustown, you're actually walking the streets? Yes, sir. And, and, and spreading this message. Talk to, to us a little bit about that. How, yes, how is that going? A time pass. Um, they've been labeling the community that we are a volatile community and we're doing a lot of bad criminal acts. So it's our duty to change the community and help change the world. And that's just what the people in the community are doing. Everyone in the community, they're very much a part of it. No discrimination, no separation. This is that your foundation. Love the world. All right, there you have him. Colon J against violence. He should be supported. And that brings us to the end of Stories Making Our E-News and Reviews for this week. But stay with us right here on stage, still to come. Aishana, she calls women to action against violence. And Janine, Ganja advocate, Bob Marley ambassador. She brings her Nine album live to our stage. But first, Mr. Easy gonna lead after the break. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment.
Welcome back. His signature breakout is this track. She drives me crazy. He is called Mr. Easy, but there is no taking it easy for this New York-based singer since that monster single. And he comes to our stage right now to update us and drops a new video. Mr. Easy, sir. We go for self. Bless Once you. again, you know? Thanks for coming. Yeah, definitely. Great to have you. Yeah. Okay, so how busy are you? You know, when you have a song like Drive Me Crazy, mm -hmm. tunes like Broke Out, Jai Ride, Showtime, okay. so much music under the catalog. You know, it's very, very interesting. Your career is very interesting. It's been years I've been doing this for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm very happy and I'm, I give thanks for the career I've, over the years, you know, from the Apollo days coming straight up. Okay, so where, where are your fans? My fans like um, Europe. I mean, mm -hmm. most, US. most of them, that is. Yeah, the US. Yes. Um, the Caribbean. Uh, I mean, I've been all over the world, so it's like everywhere I go, I mean, people love Mr. Easy's music. When you have a song that like drives me crazy, you, go, you know, it, it reaches out to a lot of different people. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm just trying to see if whether your fans are mostly offshore Jamaica. Yeah, offshore Jamaica, offshore. And yeah. Europe or the Caribbean? Europe, the Caribbean, Caribbean. Europe, Caribbean, US. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, with this new song, it's really the Jamaican. It's doing real good. At so it has revitalized. It's definitely. revitalizing your career. Yes, definitely, definitely. Or has in fact. Yes, yes has definitely. From the bashment girl come up to this tune. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good for you. So let's talk about this. The single now. It came out last year. It came out last year, like around November. November, November last before. quarter of 2016. 2016. Yes. And we've been doing a lot of promotions with the song. So now we decided to do the video. I did the video in December now. I decided to release the video mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Because now is the right time to release the video now that the song has picked up a momentum in the dance hall, you know, mm -hmm. worldwide, so. Well, you know, people are more inclined to listen to new things now than, no. say, <laughs> in the Yuletide season. Yes, yes, definitely. So that's a good, that's a good move yes. on your part. And um, so let, let's just take it right now, then. Yeah. The girl I'm gonna leave. Can't tell no people about how to wine. Gonna leave, make them man them a lose their mind. The girl I'm gonna leave, right you now where the girl them turn. Enough man I spend all the kind 'cause the girl them gonna leave. Gonna leave, Mr. Easy. Mad move, you know. Wow, the girl them chewed. So stay on the club, you know how it go. See it. So this is actually the first time they're seeing this video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never shown this video before. Okay, so the images in there will be, no doubt, be, <laughs> you know, giving some, some more exposure, more, yes, more excitement to the song. Definitely, definitely. And um, so what's, what would you say is the booking? What, what are you looking at in terms of your itinerary for this? this well, year? the album is done now, mm -hmm. you know, so now Get ready to start with some promotional tours and stuff like that. So the album is released yet? No, not yet. When is I'll it? Definitely, as, the end of March. On the end of March. Okay. The end of March or so. So, so you, most of what you will be doing will be promote, promotional. Promotional right now. Okay. Promotional right now. We have um, UK, you know, mm -hmm. and have some the Boston, the, the East Coast. So um, just, just, just promoting the record, just promoting the album, talking about the album coming out. So that's what I want people to look forward to, Mr. E's new album, you know? So, mm. Ghana Lead is a single, doing really well. Thank you, you don't know Mr. Easy. Real clean vocals, you know? No taking it I, easy. No easy. Bless Boom. the love, man. Mr. Easy, mad move, keeping it breezy, you know what I go? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you have it. Come on, for real. Mr. Easy, keeping it breezy, right here on our stage. All right, still to come right here on stage, Aishana calls women to action against violence and Janine, ganja advocate and reggae ambassador she brings her nine that's the album and she'll be live right here on our stage this is warfare this is not a drill yes we are not afraid reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage so much more than entertainment Welcome back, an unprecedented wave of female killings and general violence against women in Jamaica have rightfully sparked outrage across the nation. But we are yet to see that outrage converted into serious action. Today, 
An artist is making a firm call to action, particularly to women, to protect themselves. She's dancehall artist Aishan, a professed victim of violence herself, right now on our stage. Aishan. Hi, Winston. Wow, good to have you. <laughs> Well, but, it's a pleasure being Though it's here. a very sad occasion. Yes. Because you shouldn't have to make that song. No. But I just felt like I had to make that song, you know? Mm. Actually, one of the hardest songs mm. I had to actually record as an artist. So there you heard it. It's a song she has done calling on women to protect themselves. Let me tell you, let me tell you about the song. Because I heard it. Mm -hmm. It was brought to my attention. Mm -hmm. You did it on Tuesday, you told me. Mm -hmm. But I heard it and, and I called you. Yes. I wanted to call you and say, I, I, I commend you, first of all, for doing this song. I like it. And I think we should share it with the nations. The thing is, what really drove me to do this song, I was scrolling on my Facebook page and I saw this picture with this young girl. She was missing for a few days and then I saw a picture with her body being decomposed and it was in the grass and, you know, it was crazy to me. And I was like, no, my offer do a song, my offer speak on the situation here. And then the day after that, I got a video on my phone with like six or seven boys about to rape a girl. And she was crying and I can't even explain how disgusting that video was. They were peeing on her. They were beating her up and stuff like that. And she was basically crying, saying, why don't do this to me? You know what I mean? And me, I said, no, sir, they are young, young boys. They're probably like 16 or 15. Uh, What's going on? And I decided, say, no, no, no. I have to do a song about this. I don't look forward for that song here. I don't try to sell that song here. This is not something that I'm trying to gain any type of publicity from. I just want to bring awareness of what's really going on. Let's give our viewers a little piece of the yes. song now. Then just a stand up one side and I watch females get victimized. Them just a stand up one side and a support murderers, what's wrong with these guys? Oh, you fi stand up one side and watch a mother for creation get brutalized. Them just fling me one side, left with it decompose with maggage and flies. Protect yourself, ladies. The killer them not care about your ages. Right now, them give out taxi man bad names, so my also fear decent wages. Protect yourself, ladies. Man, no ideas I give murder or praises. Them a rape off with babies, and once see we pushing up daisies. Me want shut down in the come cars. They da figure bust for the crime rate go down. Woman, if you have a rape, this for your son try. Should be more fast, what's if he my fire gun? Woman are dead and everyone a play dumb. Them a kidnap and kill with the fun. And no me not hear the church ball fire burn. Woman a run go a far in a seek asylum. Me see rape is a walk free one time that couldn't be. Jamaica moving off tape. Government and police now have no strategy. Them can't protect none of we. Me me a some me tears and me guide and protect her. Every man a turn nerd like a Dexter. So my cannibal like cannibal like the innocent girls I get pressure. All right, that's it. That's the song. Mm -hmm. It's free. Download it. Play it. DJs everywhere play this song. Play it at the dances on the streets. Cabbies, play, them, play it in your car. <laughs> okay, play it in your car. Cabbies. Yeah. Taxi man, play the, the music in your car. Radio stations in Jamaica. The song should be blown up. It's not about promoting Aishana no, here. Not look, not from the I was the one who called her to come on the show and, and, and discuss the song with her because I thought it was a great, a great way to, to sort of bring some focus to this issue. I decided to do the song and just give it away for free. All the women can go and download it. It's not, I'm not charging for it. I'm not trying to make any money off of it. I just wanted to bring awareness. But do you feel that like enough is being done in Jamaica by of all of not. us to, to address this thing? No, of course not. A lot of things are being swept under the rug. You understand? And I think that it just I get out of no. And I think everybody needs to come together. You know what I mean? Everybody needs to come together. The mother them, we have the rapist son them, and the murderer son them, we hide them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to turn them in, I don't need to turn them in. 
You understand? Because you're a woman. And this is just bigger than just domestic violence. It's just violence against women, because you have women that are being abused that's not even in a relationship with a man. They're killing To just go outside killing women. and, yeah, and, and you're They're just killing killed. women for all kinds of... No, sir, that need to stop. Stupid reasons. The thing is, I remember one time when Jamaica was a nation where a country where everybody come together. If you're in a community and people know say I rape you, say you can't even come back there. Mm -hmm. Right now people are rape people yesterday and I come back today and I walk around free. You understand what I'm saying? And I think it has to do a lot with us not speaking. Right now everybody I forgot just become informer. You understand? Them feel too safe and it I get out of hand. Last year alone, mm -hmm. 61 That's ridiculous. women were murdered mm -hmm. in Jamaica. You understand what I'm saying? And it can be me, it can be anybody. It oh, can yes. be your mother, it can be your sister, it can be your We're niece, all victims. Basically. So I just all feel like everybody needs to come, come together. The man them have to start protect back the woman them. It's like we're afraid of man now. We don't feel safe the more. What's going on? Men are supposed to be naturally the protectors. You understand the breadwinners? But we don't know who they are. That's not happening anymore. Women have to take this thing in hand. We have to take our own life in hand right now. And we have to just go out there and we have to be careful. And we're not going to make our family know. We're not going to matter which part to go. And you know, another thing yeah. is how the taxi man, you have taxi men out there that are actually trying to get an honest bread to feed their families. And it's like all them get bad name right now. The good ones. The good taxi man, them. Because you have people out there who definitely is taxi man, yeah, and them just want God and make an honest bird for taking so care of them. They, the good ones, the good they ones. have a responsibility. Yes, just because of the new ones. To, turn, them. to yes. turn in the man, them are go ask. Yes. So. We're, we're, we're dealing with the women, yes. them like that. So, we're killing women. Yeah, everything just I get out They must them. join the campaign against this. Yes, of course. Everybody's a loser in this. Everybody. You understand? I just think the justice system needs to be definitely cleaned up. I was in a situation where I was experiencing domestic violence and I decided I was going to call the police. Mm -hmm. And when I called the police, and I'm up on the phone and I said, listen, I need any help. They said, girl, go and go wash your baby. When them ears say, okay, it was somebody in a relationship with and me, I fight, them say, go and go wash your baby clothes, click. And I'm sure other women go through that. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm tired right now. I feel like, say, if you're in a community and you hear man beat woman next door, you need to try and do something for help another person. Don't just turn a blind eye to it or ignore it. No, everybody needs to start come together right now because it's getting from bad to worse. And if we never did a uphold with the slackness all these years, it wouldn't be getting out. Don't cry now because it's getting out of hand. We help to contribute to it as a people. We need to protect our women. People always criticize and say, I shall only sing about this type of song. And, but I do positive songs all the time and this is just another positive song because i have a song called school girl and it's basically geared towards you know teenage girls in school telling them to stay in school taking on education and all of them something there and it's not being played you know so don't just focus on the negative stuff what una think is negative because personally i don't think it's i do negative songs i might express myself in a way where you might not agree to but it's still issues that we women deal with every single day you understand so this is basically another song where me feel to express myself I don't look nothing from this, I don't look no money from this. It's free. Go on my SoundCloud, Aishana, soundcloud.com slash Aishana and just download it. I want all the girls and all the women all over Jamaica to listen to it. And all the men too, we need to come together and we need to just try to stop this. It's getting out of control. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for the song. Thank you. Thanks for coming on such short notice yes. to be here <laughs> and talk to us. And we look forward. Please do the video. We'll Definitely. To for it. Well, the thing is, as I said before, doing this song was just something I felt like I needed to do, but the feedback has been so amazing yes. since yesterday. So definitely, a video is definitely something. Yes, and I, I hope you get help with the video. I hope somebody will call you. Help. All if I get call you and help you to put a video out there with this. After yes. shoot, Winford. All right, <laughs> Aishana. Okay, thank you so much again. Yes. All right, there you have her right here on stage, calling on women everywhere. To protect yourself. All right, still to come right here on stage, Janine Ganja Advocate, Reggae Ambassador. She brings her ninth album right here on stage. Reach 
unleashing more and more screams around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back following the release of her critically acclaimed sophomore album, Nine. Highly And a successful 2016 tour. The Nine comes as a Bob Marley ambassador and a global ganja advocate. And to give us the dub treatment right now, right here on our stage. The Nine. Brother Winfred, you. yes, yes, give thanks for having me again. Okay, so you soon know what the dub treatment means, right? <laughs> and that's why we have this, this group of musicians with us. All right, so ex explain for us the Bob Marley ambassadoral. Well, there appoint. are three of us, uh, myself, Ronkos, and Dre Island. And I think every year they have a set of young people who they think, you know, represent the spirit of Bob Marley. Okay. And they are featured in the celebrations during the month of February. Oh. And I was chosen this year to be one of them. All right, so talk about the, the, the ganja advocacy. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's really important that we change stigmas here in Jamaica. Okay. Because a lot of the things that we are, so, the negative connotations associated with ganja are from, you know, oppressive mindsets that were set on us a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily based in fact, scientific fact or medical fact. It's just based on the fact that, you know, people who want to oppress another set of people don't want them to have access to something that can heal them and something that can help them to, you know, realize community and realize higher functionings of their own brain. So because of that, you hear ganja being demonized and so much. I mean, you probably know even better than I. You know, all the things that even as Rastafari once had to go through just to ensure that herb was present in Jamaica. And we have some of the best medicinal herb here in Jamaica because our herb grows, I mean, six to nine months, our native strain will grow. Mm -hmm. uh, while in the States and elsewhere where they're really trying to use herb more as a commercial thing, in three months, you know, the herb is ready. So we're promoting, or, you know, I am promoting the use of herb as medicine, not the abuse okay. of herb and, you know, using it all the time and every day and mixing it with all kinds of poisonous things, but using it as your medicine, using it to make oils and tinctures that are good for cancer, that are good for glaucoma and asthma. I mean, I personally had the experience of moving asthma out of my system through the use of a steam chalice. Okay, so the, the, you know? the, the focus is more on the medicinal, the it healing. Is, it is, the healing and, not and the, the sacramental. I mean, but, even but, recreation is, is healing as well, you know, Winfred, mm -hmm. because when people sit down and So what do it, you call the abuse? I would say to abuse herb is to, to, to remain in this state where you are constantly using, you know, your spliff a light spliff. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that principle because the smoke that is produced from burning anything is a negative thing. Okay. And so if, if smoking is the way that you're going to use herb, it means you need to, you need to use less of it. It means you need to use it less often and you need to hydrate more often and replace your electrolytes because you don't want now to turn this medicinal thing into something that is toxic for your body mm -hmm. because anything in excess can become toxic. You know, a lot of things in nature, they are poison in a particular dosage, but if you have them in the right dosage, they can heal you. And it is the same with marijuana. Now, when you're using it, you know, as vapors or as rosin or as in other forms that are not you know, that don't burn the herb, it's better for you. When you ingest it through the digestive system and you're able to get it to the stomach, to the liver, to the brain, without it having to put, you know, carbon monoxide in your lungs, then you benefit from it way more, you know? But, but how, how does one go getting what you're saying, reminding themselves of what you've just said? I mean, we're in the information age. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm not saying anything novel. Okay. This is all available online if you want to study, and it's in books as well. But we in Jamaica especially have the advantage of, I mean, even now with where legislation is right now, you are able to grow herb at your house, up to five plants. Or find somebody who you know. There are many farmers who are using natural methods to grow their herb. Mm -hmm. And I personally, 
I mean, no judgment, you know. It's just to say, really and truly, it is better for your health, it is better for your mind. If you use herb that has been prepared properly, that is cured properly, if it is not cured properly, that is when you'll experience anxiety. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people, because they don't know where the herb is coming from, you know, all kinds of things mixed up in the herb, the herb wasn't dried properly, you open it out and all kind of creatures in it. Like we have to okay. take more pride in the things that we put in our body. And ganja is a sacred thing. And if you treat it in that, you know, you treat it with disrespect, then the way it will, it will not affect your body in the best way that it possibly could. Okay. Can we talk music now? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so nine, they have um, nine. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Commercial success. Ooh. Can you? T I know. I mean, it's a great album, Give uh, musically, artistically, and so on. But talk about co the commercial side of it for me. Well, you know, it's one of those albums that it, that is a relative commercial success, just because there there's a lot of love and artistry in it. Yes. You know, and it was it debuted at number five on the Billboard charts. Mm -hmm. Which was very, very surprising but very happy about that as well. It did very well in Japan as well. Um, and the persons who worked on it with me, like it was a real labor of love. And they really bared with me while I wanted to do some experimentation. So you'll hear some sounds and there's you know, a lot of what people say is, oh, it's different, you know, and some people don't like different, you know, but musically, I give thanks because I worked with some really great musicians, some really good producers who really put together a special package. Mm -hmm. uh, ones like Tippy from I Grade Records out of St. Croix, um, Al Campbell's son, Kevin Campbell, who is a good okay. friend of mine, and we were able to put together a beautiful acoustic track. Uh, Franklin Benop Irving, the uh, producer of Steam as a Bubble, original track, and he brought forward a rhythm from the 70s. That's a track that I did Unafraid on, uh, original Gladiator's rhythm. Mm -hmm. And uh, another track from Brett Proman out of Belgium, that's Humbly, that went into putting this record together. I think I am really, really happy with how it went out, you know, and the world. Well, the reviews, if the reviews are anything to go by. Can we take a look at one of the tracks from the album? Yes. All right, let's go, let's go to that. You cannot claim nothing trivial. You are on your mind, but them on. Or when I say I see. That track. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hardcore is the title. Wow. Nice. Yes. So that's that's out as a single, right? Eh? Yes, that's out as a single now. Um, and I actually have a remix of that track coming up mm -hmm. that I did with Chronix. So okay. by the end of February, everyone will hear that new version of Hardcore too. It's, so that will be a dance feel, kind of. Uh, you know, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be more of a dub feel. But you know, Chronix uh, will always, even the way he flows, will make you feel like you get that. Um, how does that relate to what, what else is on the album? That relates really well. That is one of the tracks that I produced as Steam Chalice Records. Mm -hmm. um, and I worked with Sheldon Bernard, who is my musical director, who has been with me from the beginning, you know, as well as Unga and... Um, Aeon Hoylet and Jalanzo from the Dubtonic crew. So all of the people who worked on the tracks that I produced for the record are like master musicians. I and saw Dean in, in the video. Yes. She's on oh. that track, right? Dean and Dwight and Uncle Number Robinson who, you oh, know, no. rest in power. Oh, yeah. It was a real pleasure. At, after the track was produced and we went to, to these master horns when we, you know, I played the, the horns phrase on my phone. So I told them what I wanted and I was like, I was a little concerned that, you know, Dean might, because he, him rough, you know, when he's ready. So, mm. but he listened to it and he thought it was interesting and he was able to, you know, bring it forward for me in no time at all. And so that made me feel really good. You know, as a, like a young producer, I try bring forward a particular vibe and the ones who really love roots music, that is their track. So, oh, yes. yes. That's, that's <laughs> really hardcore roots one drop reggae. Yes, sir. So, so, so let's, um, so credit, credit's for you on there. You produce, 
Yes, mm. I, I'm, you know, it's a process. We're learning more and more as we get more opportunities and more time in studio and more opportunities to experiment. We, I, there are visions that I will have because my process starts with writing. I will write a song and I will hear a bass line in my head. And then there are some master musicians who I will go to and say, this is the vibe that I'm hearing, mm -hmm. you know? And they will be able to translate for me. I don't speak the language of music. It is something, I'm a student, so I'm still learning. But I have at my disposal, you know, ones like Sheldon Bernard, ones like Chinna Smith, ones like Clive Hunt, you know, who can interpret sound mm -hmm. and bring it forward and still not you know, stray too far from what I'm feeling in my heart. So I give thanks for that. But yeah, we're working toward creating a space where, because what I want to do with Steam Chalice Records is really give some daughters an opportunity to come forward and make music. That is really the vision of it, to give people who probably wouldn't get an opportunity to sing and be on a big label, but are really talented, you know, and not necessarily wanting to do the mainstream thing, to give them a space to make music. Mm -hmm. And so I'm using myself as the first effort to go out there and say, yeah. And fortunately, you know, VP was kind enough to <laughs> mm. allow me to experiment and give me the support to distribute and, you know, strengthen this record. Oh, yes. And we're, with that, we're going to now leave the stage mm -hmm. to you and go to that side yes. for the dub treatment. Yes, sir. So maybe you should just tell us the names of the musicians, all of them. I know you've been talking about your musical director a lot. Yes. So who are the others? So we have Janoy Ellis here on guitar mm -hmm. and... Of course, Sheldon Atiba Bernard, the great. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have Kerry Lewis here, my dear, dear sister. We have Jody here, who is like fresh, fresh, new talent percussionist. And I love to see the daughter of them. So when I saw this young lady on stage working, I was like, I need to, I need to pull her into the vibes. Oh, so wow. she's here with me. School too. of Music student? No. Huh? That's oh, natural okay. drama. <laughs> so they, they've, they've been putting out a lot of great... True. Um, musicians, True. school True. of music. We should give them some props and love for that. True, Jano is a is a student of the oh. Edna Manley oh, College. There you go. Ah, <laughs> all right. So with that, we leave you to now give us some treatment, some dub treatment. Yes, Can I. I? Thanks for all our sisters at this time, all our brothers who know to take care of women. In this time of violence being perpetrated against the most vulnerable members of society, the women and children, we must stand united, courageous, and unafraid. This is the 
heart a drill And I pray to me God makes a plot for guy Or a woman for that matter Who does not dare to try To show the future is dependent On the youth where we are built This is warfare This is warfare This is warfare This is warfare This is not a drill
for the human connection. Thank you so much. Thank you. Janine, that's just samples. Respect. Of nine, right? Respect. Yes. These are all songs from the album. Okay. And it's out and available. On all digital platforms and also hard copies of the CD and vinyl you can get from reggaeking.com or from my website, janine.com. Okay. And your next mission? Your next, the next assignment move for you? will be in March on the road with Brother Chronix for the month of March. And then in Europe in April, and then the summer tour begins, you know, after that. So, road, all of the year. Right. Road and studio. Okay, I want to thank the musicians. Thank you very much, yes. ladies and gentlemen, for coming and playing so well for all of us right here on stage. Well, there you have her, live and in living colors, right here on stage, Janai. So, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage and leaving you with a little more of Janine from Nine. Jovene Orlando, him up a plot a land up a west over so, him no me love my belly cause I just summer grow, and my favorite thing he bring for me is avocado, avocado me love the 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 avocado, not in a season. Thanks for watching our video. If you are not yet a subscriber, click now and be on stage. Always. <laughs>